Hi and welcome back to another episode of He Said She Said and we are going with our little challenge of whether or not thorny mango black tea goes well in chai. Mm -hmm. So we've made it really really lazily mm -hmm. quickly and that is basically just brewing the thorny mango with some extra cinnamon and ginger. Mm. Um, so there's no funny business and look, you know, at the end of the day with chai, it could be any combination mm. of cinnamon, ginger, cardamom, cloves, maybe pepper. Mm. Um, they are very usual suspect when it comes to the chai mm. mix. Um, so yeah, we have got the sour soup that we talked about last time mm -hmm. or thorny mango is the same thing. And it is a tropical fruit that some people say is the taste mm. is kind of like a mix of pineapple, banana and guava together mm. I think yeah uh, not sour at all even though the name says sour soap it's mm. uh, it's it is actually a very lovely taste uh, Peter said it tastes kind of reminds him of guava mm. for me it reminds me of sort mm. of a, a more florally pear kind mm. of taste I can smell the tea that she's created and um, I like the Ooh. fruity smell with the cinnamon and other spices It's actually quite a nice smell but I still disagree that it works in terms of taste. Is it working? It's working for me. Let's just try it for ourselves, eh? It reminds me of cinnamon rolls. You know those evil American ones that drenched in sugar? And... It is a little bit like that. Mm. Oh, you know those cinnamon pear dessert no you can say it you can say it be courageous <laughs> okay she has me sold it works <sighs> i feel defeated but i'm also happy <sighs> this is like tai chi you sometimes have to lose the fight in order to gain something far better Ah, very philosophical chai. It does work. It does work. I know so. I think we should stop now. <laughs> and just enjoy it. <laughs> yeah, and just enjoy it. Yes, it works.